Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, it's been a hell of a long time since I've been, so I should probably explain myself a little I have been incredibly busy. Like, I have changed a hell of a lot around in my life. And by changed a hell of a lot around, I mean I got a new computer chip. As you can see from behind me, it is incredibly comfortable. But yes, it's been a long time, and I don't really have an excuse why I haven't been recording. I uh, just kind of haven't been recording. Oh, I forgot about these guys. I just kind of haven't been recording. But I'm back now. I've got a schedule sorted, kind of sorted, which I might release in the next couple of days or so. It might be a week or two. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and get a few more videos out. And as you can see, I'm bringing in my face cam into Subnautica. So that should be a, a nice little interesting change. Anyway, it's been a long ass time since I've played this game, and I have pretty much forgotten what I need to do. Uh, so I'm going to assume that I need to not eat the lantern fruit. Do I need to eat the lantern fruit? I don't know. I don't know if I need to eat the lantern fruit anymore. Um, yeah, I've got loads of stuff. Right, so I've played this little bit kind of on my own uh, in my spare time while I wasn't doing a great deal. So I kind of know what I need to do, but it's that was like three or four weeks ago. So I can't really remember that, but I kind of know what I need to do. What I need to start with, though, is getting the Seamoth Depth Module Mark Three. So for that, we need to get some rubies. So let's just deposit these lantern fruit. Uh, ah, fuck it, we'll scrap them. Let's deposit the lantern fruit. What we're going to do is we're going to hop in the Seamoth, and we are going to find the Mark III depth module. So, enter Seamoth. Oh, it's been such a long time. I actually love this game. Um, I think they've recently announced the... Um, they've recently announced the uh, DLC for this now. What is it? Uh, below Zero, I think it is, which is going to be kind of a new area. Um... A new area on, on this planet. So I don't know how they're going to incorporate that. It could be a standalone game. Um, it could also be a DLC for this game. So I, I don't know yet. But I'm looking forward to it. I haven't really done much reading on it. But it does look pretty damn cool. It looks very cool. Now. Ooh. Oh yeah. I forgot. Oh. Jesus Christ. I've been back on like a minute. And this thing's already snapping at me. Like there's no tomorrow. Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> right. Anyway. So. The below zero... Uh, expansion for Subnautica looks pretty damn cool. Do I need... What's that? What is that? Bioreactor fragment. And some metal salvage. Ooh, off to a good start. I always need titanium, so let's just collect a little bit of that. So yeah, the Below Zero expansion uh, looks very cool. Uh, it's all set in the frozen biome uh, of this, this planet. So, if you've ever seen the end to this... Now, spoiler alert. If you've ever seen the end to this, when you're leaving the planet... Um, you see like a frozen biome on one side that's all frozen over and that I believe is where this is going to take place, where the expansion is going to take place. So they're going to have all new creatures in here, probably some even bigger creatures, another storyline more than likely. I kind of hope it's an, a, a DLC rather than a standalone, just so that it's easier to play and you can kind of link the two storylines together if you want, but it's unlikely it's going to be that. It's more than likely going to be a, uh, a standalone game. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm just kind of wandering around in my Seamoth. Stuff there. Let's see if we can, um... Oh, go away. Let's see if we can find somewhere... To... Oh, dear. What? What? Oh, it's those things. The Sancha. Oh! It's those, um, big things. The, the Leviathan-class not-meat-eaters. <laughs> odd, odd phrase. Um... Yeah, so we'll head down into one of these biomes, and we'll see what we can do down there. Because we need some rubies. Uh, I want to get the Mark III Depth Module upgrade to this, because I know you can go a lot deeper. I've yet to go a lot deeper, but I know you can go a lot deeper. Um, I've only ever seen the end to this uh, once. So I don't... Re I'm not I'm not overly clued up. But I'm clued up enough that... Is that... A no, okay. I'm clued up enough that I kind of know what I need to do right now. And I'm going to bring your attention to yeah, that side. Just just down, just just kind of there. There there she is. Oh, where's my arm? The hell? Yeah, just, just here. Yeah, right there. That's my little poochie. That's my little poochie. She is no way little. Big fat poochie. Big fat poochie, but she is adorable. And that's one of the main reasons to take a break as well. But, you know, I'm back now, so let's get on with this. Okay, so, rubies. We need rubies. Are they rubies? No, they're the blood splot clot. Yeah. Now, that thing's called a warper. Um, I did find this out. It's called a warper. 
It's a bastard. I don't like it. I'm already at crushing depth. Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, what's down there, then? If I'm at crushing depth, I can get lower. Well, I, I should be able to go lower. I should be at ruby height, then. Any rubies around here? Hello, rubies. Ruby, 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 ruby. Oh, what's happening to my screen? It's all ghosty and wispy. That's pretty cool. Ah, what's this? That is a uranium crystal. Oh, do I need my radiation suit on to, uh, to pick this uranium up? I mean, I see him all right at the minute. Yeah, it seems fine. It's a lot darker outside of my, uh, my seamoth, isn't it? How much uranium do you think I'll need? I'll just keep picking it up. Can't hurt, can it? What's this thing? That is nothing. Self scan. Oh yeah, I'm infected, aren't I? Of course. Well, that's not good. That's not good. I'm gonna die from space aids. It's space aids, which has no cure. I contracted it when I was really lonely with one of my fish in my tank. It's probably Steve. Or it could have been Steve. Maybe Steve? It was one of the Steves. One of the Steves. But, but, but yeah, yeah. My private life's my private life. You guys don't need to know that. Uh, what's that? Is that magnetite? Magnetite, yeah. I don't know how much magnetite I've got. I don't actually know how much stuff I've got. I should have really checked before I started, shouldn't I? Let's open the storage. Okay, so I've got loads of metal salvage in there. I've still only got two rubies, so I need a lot more rubies. Um, and there doesn't appear to be a massive amount of them around here. So let's come out of this cave. This cave might not be the way forwards. Um, this biome should have them in, though. Because I'm deep enough. I think rubies spawn at a certain depth, and this should be the depth that they spawn at. Where are my rubies? Have I found this life pod before? Uh, that looks open, so yeah, it looks like I have to. Life pod 2, yes, I found life pod 2 before. Uh, oh, have I? Yeah, that's empty, okay. Crackery job. What's up here? Let's go this way. A ruby! Ah, oh, look at that. It's like, it's like life pod 2 knew what I was looking for. And saved the day. Thank you, life pod 2. I appreciate the assistance in this matter. Okay, let's just stock up on a few more. That, 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 that's in no way creepy. Have I seen those before? I'm being attacked by something. No, I'm not. Uh, well, I kind of am, but it's not actually doing any damage to me. So, let's... Let's smoosh this mother. Where is he? Ah! I mean, come on. That, sh that thing should be dead against the side there, and it's still alive. Bullshit. Freaking bullshit. Okay, there's lots of uranium in here, but there's also lots of those weird face hooker things from uh <gasps> Electric Eel! Oh look how pretty it is. Look at him. I'm not gonna go near him because that would be a shocking experience. I'll get out. I'm sorry. I can do better than that. Um I'd like to apologize in three parts. Firstly by saying that's not my joke. Um so blame blame the guy that came up with electricity. Um Secondly, I'd like to say that um, I, I, I've i never been noted to be particularly hilariously funny. So it, if you laugh, it's your own fault, really. And uh, and thirdly, um, not not many people watch my channel, so uh, it should be okay. It should be okay. I mean, I've got one dedicated and loyal fan that um, may or may not be my sweet, dear old mother. It, it's not. It's really not. Um, but yeah. Let's move on. Anyway, so I've not really been out here. So let's go out here. Any Leviathan class predators out here? I've got a funny feeling there may be. Because I'm getting to watch... To watch? Sean Connery. I'm going to watch. I like to watch tennis at tennis. Yes. Right, that appears to be a cliff edge. So, I'm also getting weird bubbling noises. But we'll not go that way. Let's head back. So I got my um, I got two rubies. That should be enough for me to make the Mark Three depth module. Can I see in my blueprints what the Mark Three depth is? 
Got the reinforced diving suit, which requires synthetic fibers. How do I make synthetic fibers? Uh, a lightweight capacity tank, Cyclops. Seamoth Mark 3 requires Ruby's Plasti on the Seamoth Mark 2. Let's go get that first, and we'll get the Seamoth Mark 3. Um, then I can go and explore that cave a little bit more. So, I will head back to Base Pod Fang, and I will talk to you pretty people in a minute. <coughs> Alright, I'm not quite back at Base Pod Thing, and I have just been attacked by that Sand Shark, but I noticed this cave here. Now, this looks interesting. This looks like you're not supposed to find it. So let's go have a... Uh, doesn't look like I can get in there with my... Oh! Oh my god, that actually scared the life out of me. Oh! Oh my god, no! Don't break my Seamoth! Leave it alone! Leave Brittany alone! Repair. Let's park it a little bit further in the cave. Alright, let's go have a look around in here. This looks, uh... This looks interesting. What's this? Shale outcrop. Ah, lithium's always useful. Jellyfish. What's down here? Anything nice? Anything special? Some, uh... Voila bleu. Voila bleu. Violet bleu. Is it bleu? Can I scan that? No, I can't. Can I scan that? Oh, I can scan. Earthen coral tubes. How very interesting. Some more jellyfish there. Oh, an egg! Pick up creature egg. Let's hatch that. Yeah, is it big? Is it little? Oh, it's only a little one. Okay, let's take that back to my um my fish tank of. Why is that bit of wall a different color? No, it's not a secret. Okay, let's take the uh, the egg back to the fish tank, and uh, ooh, and we'll see what hatched out of it. I I've got a. F oh, I hope it's not like a sand. Sh oh, shy. So I just drove straight into them. Then it's like I've never even played this game before. Right, so base pod thing, we're only 500 meters away now, so we're not far away. So, we'll not bother, uh, we'll not bother skipping again. We'll just, we'll just stay together, you know. Close, close friends. That me, and my, um, my pink, pink beast are, you know, we're real close, me and pink beast. We've been together a long time, you see. Oh yeah, swan dive, swan dive, swan dive, Whee! Flippin' heck, I was out of the water for ages then. Now I'd love to be able to see that from... Uh, like, the other angle. If I could get, like, just outside of that shot, that'd be amazing, I think. Nice swan dive. Alright, looks like we're almost... Ah, here we go, here we go. Home sweet home. Oh, it does look beautiful though, doesn't it? I forgot how much work we'd done to it. Oh. I need to get some more reinforcements and some glass all the way around the sides. And, oh, it's going to look amazing when I'm done with it. But let's make this Mark III um, depth module. And let's make sure I don't actually uh, lose my seam off because that would be silly. So that's the Mark II. Let's take that. Ab, right, let's sprint around here. Uh, ooh, back away, foul beast, away! Okay. It's made me some salt. Thank you for making me some salt. It quite literally is salty. Right. Seamoth upgrade. Seamoth Mark 3. Okay, so I've got my bullet vibrator. Let's go put it into my Seamoth. Here we go. Now, what does this put my crush depth? 900 meters. That's more than enough for me to go and explore that cave. Let's drop off some of this. In fact, let's empty the, the, um, the storage at the back. Because I completely keep forgetting to do this. And I'm carrying around metal salvage that I don't need to carry around with me. Let's start making this metal salvage into titanium. That's one. Thank you. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five! Yay! We can count to five! Look at us! Right, let's drop that in... This looks like my tits chest. Let's put my titties in there. Uh, I've got some quats. Uh, that's magnetite. Magnetite can live in there with the bit of lithium that I picked up and the uranium. Uh, do I want to put the ruby in there as well? Nah, the ruby can go somewhere better than that. The ruby can go in here. 
Gold, silver, glass, ruby. Keep the water, the acid mushroom. Um, um, did I not have an additional storage for the acid mushrooms? What are you? Your salt and coral. Ah, yeah, you can go in there with that then. Okay, that's fine. So I've still got the creature egg and the salt, which can also be deposited. The orange tablet. I think I'm going to get one of those energy cube things as well. They seem to be a, an ion cube. They seem to be slightly useful. Um, is that my food? That's my food. So let's grab a couple of lanterns. Nom, nom, nom. Grab a couple more and just check on the bioreactors, which are this way. So these bioreactors are incredibly cheap and incredibly damn useful and incredibly running out of power. Good job I did check on these. Otherwise we would have come back to a base with no fucking power. Right. Eh? Where'd it go? Where's it not? The bastard just stole my lantern fruit. Oh! The thieving prick! That's it. That one's getting demolished. I'm not taking that one with me now. I'm really planning. No, no, I'll stay in here. Right, let's go to my, um... Cuteness of cuteness. Ah, oh, look at the baby sand sharks. Look at them. Who knew that you were going to grow up to be an asshole? Yeah. Oh, forget about the cuddlefish. He's swimming over. Hey, boy. How you doing? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Oh, so cute. Right. Is there anything in here that I need to scan? Uh, gasopod, boomerang, cuddlefish, hoverfish, sand shark. No, they're all great. Right, let's drop that creature egg in here. Do what that gives me. Can I scan it? No, I can't scan it. I can use the planter, though. Um, my dog's just moved. This thing's hatched. Is that, is that an eggshell? That looks like an eggshell. It's hatched. What did it hatch into? Is it just the sand sharks? It may just be the sand sharks. Now, I can put the cuddlefish outside. I can put all these outside the base if I want to. And it'll help kind of guard the base, I think. But I'm not too sure. Anyway, so, we've got the iron cube, we've got the orange tablet, I've got a water supply, which I'm going to drink one now. Let's get some food. Let's take uh, some taties with me. No? Let's take, actually, we'll take a couple of uh, lanterns, and that's enough. Right, let's go exploring the deep depths. Enter Seabot. Okay, now I've completely forgot which direction it was in, so I'm going to go... Th thank you. I'm going to go... It was this way. I'm just guessing. It might not be this way. It may be awesome. Alright. So, I'll make my way over there. And I'll get back to you in... 